Hey, today I want to talk about energy. Energy is so important. Why? Why is that? And why do people always say, Kate, how do you have so much energy? Well, I bring up this often when I'm speaking to to people, but really I have ADHD, pretty high level of it. And what I learned early on is that the only way that I could really function (laughs) in this society, in this world, if I knew how to contain all this, and I don't mean contain it in in a way that restricted it, which it used to be that I used to feel like, oh my gosh, I had to be like quiet and not speak my piece. And, but what I learned was that really it was about energy management and how I was able to manage my energy. And there are a few different ways that I want to focus on in this video. And one of them is physically, how are you managing your energy and how are you generating your energy? How are you using that unique energy that you're given? Because what I will say in any given day, clearly our energy is finite. We only have this amount of energy, this number of calories that we can burn in one given day. And so my question to you is, how are you generating energy? And then how are you resting? How are you restoring so that you can refill the plant and regenerate? And there's a couple of different ways that we can do it. One of the ways I just want to actually start with the restoration component. So I feel like there's, I have a certain level of mastery and regeneration and rest because truth be told, I'm kind of lazy, legit. I am sort of a lazy person. If I have a choice of sitting or lying down, I'm going right to laying down. I just love to lie down. I love to rest because that time I always know I'm going to come up with cool ideas and I know I'm refueling my tank both intellectually, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Rest is key. So in what ways are you resting and restoring? Are you getting good quality sleep? You know, are you you kicking back in the day? Do you have rest and restoration scheduled in your day? That's really important. So in which ways are you resting and restoring to regenerate energy in your life? Again, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. The second piece of it is the regeneration process. We are energy plants of of energy management and how we fuel ourselves is really important. So what are the ways that we can fuel ourselves with greater energy? What are the ways we're fueling the plant? Well, well, clearly it's good, clean food. I uh, love to eat well. It's just, thank God for my dad. My dad was a super fit dude. He was awesome. He was super stressy. But one thing he managed really well was his energy. He managed it well because he fueled his body with good eats. Now, he could eat like a lot, but it was always the like good, healthy choices. And I sort of copy and mimic his methodologies because he ate really healthy, he ate balanced, but he also balanced it with his energy output. My dad was a member at at the Y for, I think, you know, like 60 something years. So even with nine kids, that guy still worked out. So he was an incredible role model for me. So I eat moderately. I eat well. I don't like to be uber full. Um, I, I eat a balanced diet because I know what fuels me and drives me. And I know what doesn't feel good. Isn't I don't feel good weighted down with heavy food. I love sweets, but I, I eat it minimally. I still joy and savor life. But clean eats is really important. I have an ebook called the Clean Eats Playbook that's available on Amazon, as well as in Claim Your Inner Hottie, um, my book that's also available on Amazon, where I focus on my nutrition plan and also my exercise plan. So feel free to click on the link below and grab that on Amazon. But you know, when we think about energy again, the regeneration, how we fueling the plant, food is important, hydration is important. Super important. 64 ounces at minimum. I'm, I need to catch myself up a little bit. I'm a little bit shy. And um, so I'm going to uh, obviously hydration is huge. And also ways you keep your body strong is important. Right? There, we, in some part of our society, we're like, when I was growing up, it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you cared about your body too much, particularly if you lifted weights, 
that was vain. Like you just were being vain. And, and that literally has been, is sort of still imprinted in my brain. It's amazing how beliefs that we had when we were young um, still are instilled. Uh, because I remember like I lifted weights. That was the thing that I did. I started doing that at 21. And there used to be this association that if you lifted weights, you were not smart. You were what Planet Fitness says is you're a lunkhead. And I'm like, wait a minute, I'm kind of proud of being a lunkhead. Um, so for me, how I, I generate energy is I lift weights. Muscle mass burns a ton of calories. It gives me a ton of energy. Uh, muscle strength is very, very important, especially as we age. So what are the ways that you're generating and supporting this incredible vessel that is this body, this incredible, unique and beautiful vessel that we walk through this world in. And, you know, I say, hey, you know, there's different ways we can get across town, right? And, and even if we're thinking about a vehicle, we can take a bus or we can take a Mercedes. Let's build and use our body and treat them as though they're Mercedes. It's not a broken down, you know, piece of equipment. Let's let's honor, let's do the oil change and, and make sure we got the right um, air pressure in the tires so that we can glide through life instead of hobble our way through. So energy and energy management. How are you managing your energy in a day? And how are you restoring your energy? Thank you for tuning in to another video. I'm Kate McKay. And until next time, make today amazing. You deserve it. And don't forget, you have greatness within you. You. Yes, you do. So thanks for tuning in. Take good care. And I will see you on the next video.